Alright, and welcome back to DRMXZ Plays Psychonauts. In the last episode, we realized that Oleander is a dick. And, um... Uh, and also, I kind of also lied, because MJ Timixter is with me. I'm going to... Again. Yeah, again. I'm actually going to... I realized while re reviewing my footage, I forgot two cards on the, on the main map. So... And also to show off the um, show off nighttime and side cougars, we're gonna go out exploring a little bit. I'm actually not as much of a bitch ass pansy as I am with uh, the bears. Side cougars are actually not that bad. So I'll be right back. And we're gonna go exploring, get these last two cards, encounter our first side cougar, and yeah, let's go. Hello, side cougar. What's up? What's up, side cougar? Guess what? You can't see me. You can't catch me on fire. You can't catch on fire, which you can't see. Anyway, I actually do not know where the side cougar locations are. I know where a good portion of them are. And also the music changes for nighttime. Um, where... There's the card. Can I just bounce it from here? Actually, let's cheat a little bit. And get up here and then just float down to it instead of being secretly ambitious. Can I go in the first person? Okay, fine. Sorry about that. That's right. My um, new tablet just arrived. Oh, you got a new I'm tablet. So excited. I but did. you can't use it. I just got here. Until summer's over. Oh shit. shut up! I know. We actually just encountered our first side cougar without you. Oh no! I missed it. I'm so sad. That's right. Side cougars aren't that bad. He almost set me on fire, but invisibility is your main uh, defense against side cougars because Ugh. they can't target you when you're invisible. And we're actually kind of almost where the story's at. Oh my god, it's Bobby! Sorry. Uh oh. Look, I can explain. This is a weird box. Box, you confuse me. I like how even though he's just saying TV, TV, he can actually hit you. Oh my god, Billy! I didn't realize I'm gonna trigger this cutscene. I traced the psychic interference back to Coach Oleander's radio. Oh really? Yes, really. in his sleep. So he's really kidnapping children and stealing their brains to make weapons. Yes. Oh my god. Isn't that great? What? How, How is, is that... that great? What? Because this is an honest to goodness psychic emergency. And Sasha's not here. He left on some official psychonauts business. Mia left a note saying the same thing. Lily, a deranged man man is building an army oh my of god. tanks to take over the world. And there's no one who can stop him except for you and me. Oh Why aren't you god. phone for help? Uh, what? Um, Sorry, they don't have cell phones. So excited. There's a probably a phone in the main lodge. Oh my god, there's pizza. So Oops. Pizza. And there's a television, portable TV. They have portable TVs, but not cell. Oh my god, that is the watch I need for the for the scavenger hunt. Lily, that's not a real flower. It has a face years, on it. Why'd you pick it up? Oh dear god. Oh my god, it's the giant hairless bear. Giant hairless bear! That's not really a bear. You didn't just hit my boyfriend. Where's the Russian kid? I have no idea. What the f did you just Lily. eat her? Get back here! Hey! No, come back! Aw, oh, Raz, the one thing, your one weakness, he went into the water. Oops. Son of a bitch. Let's get him! I can't. I can't swim. Well, then use the bathysphere at the end of the dock. Quick! While the flipper prints are still glowing. Are you coming? I don't know how to Did you die, or...? Uh, I can't. No. I have to, uh, it's a cutscene. Oh. It's like you got really quiet. <laughs> And possibly refrigeration. And how can you not know how to operate a bathysphere? Haven't you ever been to summer camp? Before? I have no idea where the bathysphere is. Girl gets overly digested. What overly what? digested? A bathysphere. That 
does not sound delicious. Or nutritious. Are there any side cougars up here? That's my other question. I actually have no idea where the side cougars here is. And of course now Hank goes playing Borderlands. Yep. Oh wait! He just asked me a question <gasps> and he popped online. Dude! I just found an- No! Get! Up! Damn it! How do I get that? I just saw a side challenger. I have no idea how to get up there. Wait a minute. I will figure this out. I never saw that up there before. I'm sorry, people. That was exciting. I was like, wait, there's a side challenger up there. I've never seen that before. Screw that. I'm just gonna float. Oh, you're actually gonna make me do this this way, huh? I'm gonna try to not cut myself with the box cutter in my excitement. Oh, what kind of tablet did you get? Huh? What kind of tablet did you get? Oh, I got an Intuos. An Intuos 04? Like, my... uh, Chris's? The 4. Ooh, huh? sexy. So you can actually use your texture. Yeah. Sorry, guys, <sighs> we're talking- we're talking tablets. <laughs> I mean, and, I like and 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 it's sexy, and it's Children oh my god! I'm just gonna fangirl in the background. God! Hello, beautiful. Ooh. You probably need to be charged. What's this? Oh, thank you, game, for telling me that all the animals at night are dangerous. Like, I didn't know this already, because cooter cougars are mean. Oh, you- come on, please. Are they worse than bears? Uh, they're worse- they could do more damage if you're- if you don't notice them right away. Cause telekinesis- I mean, um, pyrokinesis is a ranged attack. Uh-huh. So if you don't notice them right away, they can actually set you on fire. Which is <laughs> not good. Which is not- Good. Well, yeah, it's not good. I'm trying to figure out how to get over here. Oi. Come on. Oi. How do I do this? Aha! Okay, now. You have to make this jump. Okay. Alright. So much we stuff. Have, oh my goodness. We have a card. We're gonna jump over here. Okay, so the the footprints, they're not actually glowing, so you don't really have to do it right right away, but since I noticed I missed those two cards, I'm going to go get them, and I'm going to go and actually go into the bathosphere. They saw, can I actually get into the boat? I could get into the boat, but why would I want to get into this boat? Because that's going to be dangerous with a giant keeping along the fish out in the water. Okay, we're actually going to go and do our next boss fight. Sort of. Use the bathosphere to go into water. And they know this is where this part comes becomes hard. There is a giant air bubble underneath the water. Wait, but how do you go under the water? In the bathosphere. Oh, I haven't been to the bathosphere yet. Yeah. Um, there isn't a bunch of stuff that you... This area doesn't have, like, stuff that is really important to get. Um, it's just a bunch of, um... Like, arrowheads, I think. Hold on, let me check something. I've never actually... No, not that. I want... There are deep arrowheads underwater. Wait, really? Yes. That sounds okay, really so... Notice when I get close to the wall, a set of hands appear. This is gonna be the- This is gonna be my swearing a lot part of this- My part of the LP. Except for the end, because the end is a bitch. Because so if you if you go outside, if you go outside or touch the wall, it is an automatic grab. You are automatically brought underwater 
and you must restart from your last checkpoint. And there are monsters here. There are lobsters. Or crawfish. I think they're actually crawfish. There are crawfish. And there are sucker fish. Sucker fish can actually lock onto your head. And then there are clams. If you walk into the clam's mouth, they actually will close. So beware clams. But they will become useful later. Uh, anyway. There are a lot of breakable surfaces, and also enemies will fall from the sky. So, that, that, that aside, so, we're just gonna hurry up and do what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to follow up this area, and, hey look, maybe I should pull this, Mickey, what do you think? <laughs> 